I got some troubles for y'all today, man. Grab your pads. Come on back. Welcome to today's lesson. I'm your instructor, Flamuel L. Jackson. And today I got a very cool wrist and finger exercise that I want to show y'all. This is one of my favorite in front of the TV hand exercises to do. And this one is all about working on the wrists and the fingers. And I call this exercise troubles. I call them troubles for two reasons. Number one, they involve triplets and doubles. And number two, doublets sound stupid. Now it's important when you're doing any kind of pad work that you have a very specific purpose in mind while you're moving the sticks. All right. Don't just be throwing your hands all over the pad, all willy nilly, hoping for results. You want to have a specific goal target practice is what I call it. Know what you're working on when you're moving the sticks. So this particular exercise is primarily a triplet exercise. All right. And it's about using the wrists and the fingers. So, you know, a lot of times when I show you an exercise, I like to focus on accented notes and quieter notes. So my accented notes, right? You play them from the top floor, quieter notes are in the basement. So if I'm playing triplets, as you can see, right? Accents from up here, and then my quieter notes are no more than maybe an inch and a half, two inches from the pad. And this is where the flow comes from. Right? So I'm just dog paddling with the hands. Right? Very specific movement that I'm working on, and I want it to feel just like that when I'm holding the sticks. Okay, so let me show you how to do these exercises. There's a very specific way that I want you to focus on playing them. We're just going to throw some doubles in the mix between the accents, okay? And all of the double strokes are going to be ghost notes played down here. The object of the game is to never break this feel. Okay, I want you to maintain that through the entire thing. So the first one, we're just going to throw a double in between the, um, the quarter notes. And it's basically it's going to sound like one, dugga, dugga, two, dugga, three, dugga, dugga, four, dugga, dugga, one, dugga, dugga, two, dugga, dugga, three, dugga, dugga, four, dugga. So, you know, accent a stroke, right, right, left, left, accent a stroke, left, left, right, right. So it's alternating um, between the hands. So it just looks like this. Let me get some time. Goes like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's all there is to it. One, dugga, dugga, two, dugga, dugga, three, dugga, dugga, four, dugga, dugga. But while I'm playing them, I'm focusing on this, just that movement, okay? The hands should not change or feel any different. Two, three, four. That's the first one. Now the second version, we're just going to take those two doubles and move them closer to the downbeat by a 16th note. We're just going to shove them over. So the first one was one, double, double, two, double, double, three, double, double, four, double, double. This one is going to be one, double, double, two, double, double, three, double, double, four, double, double. So that looks like this. One, two, three, four.
all right? That is all there is to it, but it doesn't stop there. There's other things that you can do with this exercise that makes it super effective. By the way, if you're digging this pad that I'm playing on and you haven't seen it before, this is the P4 practice pad by Drumio. And the different colors that you're seeing here, they're not just for aesthetics, they're actually four different surfaces that you have on this pad. So each one of these surfaces sounds distinctly different and they also offer different varying degrees of rebound. So the main pad here, this is your regular gum rubber. Over here, we got a softer sort of neoprene kind of surface that's, you know, if you want to simulate that for floor tom. The black surface here is much harder. You can assign whatever you want to this. If you want it to be a rack tom or whatever you want. And then the top surface here, this is your hardest surface that you can sort of simulate like a ride symbol or something. So this pad would actually be pretty great for these exercises that I just showed you because you can break up the accented strokes between two different services. So this has been my go-to pad for the last little bit. If you're digging it and you want one for yourself, you can actually get this at Sweetwater. You can also get this if you're in Europe at Tommen.de. I am affiliates with both of these places. Links will be in the description box if you want to go check those out. Or you can just go straight to Drumio and get it there. But yeah, this is a pretty cool design. This has sort of been my go-to pad for the last little bit. So yeah, if you're digging this, you want to grab one for yourself, check the links in the description box. Shout out to Drumio for sponsoring this video. So once you learn these two movements, you can group them up and play them however you want. So if you want to go four and four, so four beats of one, four beats of the other, like this. One, two, three, four, two, two, three. You can do it like that, or you can go two and two. Like that, or you can completely randomize it. This is what I normally like to do if I'm sitting in front of the TV. Um, I'll just go back and forth, just sort of randomizing it. But the thing I'm focusing on is this, right? Those accented strokes, those quarters, I want those to stay nice and strong and the movement doesn't break at all. The only thing that's changing is those quieter notes on the, uh, on the surface, so. This exercise feels really, really good once you get going. There's absolutely no need to do these fast, okay? There's, you have to break any speed records when you're doing this type of thing. The key is to relax, you know, make the wrist nice and loose, nice and flowy, and to keep those quiet notes down in the basement. So have fun with these troubles. There's a free PDF in the description box so you can learn these patterns. Once you learn them, you can get creative, mix them up however you want, start building those hands. Thanks for watching this video. If you had your eye on this hoodie the entire time, guess what? You can get one. This is a beat down exclusive. This is part of my merch. Link will be in the description box. Head over to the shop. Comes in a few different colors. Super nice and comfy. It's a great way to support the channel and look cool at the same time. Share this video if you dig it. Drop a comment below if you got one. Like, subscribe. See you next video.